Welcome to your fitness for today. It's just going to be a yoga workout, so you don't need anything, just your mat and your arm and leg space um, to extend out wide or kick as high as you can. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started. Just grab your mat and I'll catch you in just a second. Today we're going to start out on our knees. So you're in your hero pose and you're going to come down. So you're sitting on your feet comfortably. This is the side and sort of pseudo back view. One hand is going to reach to the floor and the other hand is going to arch over you. So you're just doing a side body stretch. And from the front view, you're dipping your shoulder, your, um, your hips, dipping your shoulders down to the side. You're dipping your hips down to the side and your arm, it wants to come up this way, but that's not the same stretch we're doing right now. So put it above your ear and just reach. Oh, feel that lower back cracking. And then come up and switch to the other side. You can push that arm out. So you're sitting off of the, off of the heel just a little bit. And then come back up to your normal hero pose so now side view is here you're going to take take your arms and open your chest bring them in and open out for cactus arms bring them in bring them in and just open them out and then you can pulse your arms out wide so just give it a little bit you feel your biceps activate as you're pushing down You've got a little bit of that muscle action to push. All right, let's uh, take our hands down to the mat into a child's pose. So child's pose, you're again, you're sitting on your feet. Your knees can either be closed together or you can leave some space for your stomach to go down a little bit more. So here's where we rest. A few breaths. And then we're going to come up into our downward facing dog. So in our downward facing dog, we're going to walk it out just a little bit. And then we're going to kick one leg up and do some hip, hip circles on each side. We'll do the same thing and then flip the dog over. So that looks like this. So you're coming up downward dog, walk it out until you find a comfortable spot to press the heels down just a little bit more. A couple of breaths. And then you're kicking the left leg up and opening up the hip. So your upper body is facing straight away and your side body, your leg is facing, it's opened up. So it's facing out to the side. So let's circle the hip for one, two, three. Make a big or small circle, whatever you can do. One, two, three in reverse and take that left leg and flip your body over. So your left leg is bent knee and off to the other side, and your right leg is straight. Left arm is arching over your ear. We're gonna take it down to the floor. Keep the left toes pointed up like your tippy toe and push back up, make a big arch, and down for two, back up, down, up, and then two more. Down, up, one more. Down and up. Get a good stretch. And then we're gonna flip ourselves back over. So take your left leg and bring it back. And then let's just kick the leg up and down a couple of times. Two and three. Good, and then just walk it out. I'm gonna do my right leg, and so you'll see me from the other side view. So taking your right leg up, and then open the hip for a little stretch. And then circle it. One, two, three. 
and then reverse. One, two, three, reopen the hip and take it down to the floor. So now you're in your flipped dog holding here. And then we're going to take it down to the floor for one, two, three, four, and up, and five. Hold your stretch. Then flip it back over and kick your leg. Walk it out. And then let's uh, come down to our knees and rest in a child's pose for just a second. Think chaturanga. So you're rolling your body forward and then you're going to go into your chaturanga. So you're going to bring your elbows in and push to the floor. Tuck your toes. So if your feet are spreading out wide like that, bring them flat into the floor. You're holding this chaturanga, shoulders are back, legs are just lifted off the floor. Push back into downward facing dog. Let's kick the right leg. One, two, three, four, five, and then step forward, open up. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Let's fly it out. One, two, and three, and then cartwheel the arms back down, and then lift your chest. So we're lifting our chest up into a warrior one, crescent lunge. You can point your fingers and hold, or you can take your hands behind your back. So if you're doing the back view, you're gonna dip your chest. So you got your hands behind the back. You're gonna dip forward in this lunge, lunge position for one, two, three, four, and five. And then cartwheel, Ooh, slipping on my floor. I wasn't using that. And then cartwheel back to a warrior two. We're going to take it down into our plank chaturanga and then do the same thing on the other side. So take it down, step back, downward facing dog, roll up into your plank and then you can do knees, chest, chin to the floor or do the chaturanga. Come down, push up and if your feet are going wide again press them closer together and lift up, push back. Let's do our left side. So lifting the left leg, you can kick again if you want. One, two, three, four, and five, and then step forward, and we open up into our warrior two from the other side. Flying warriors, you're just opening and closing, two, three, four, and five. And then you can readjust either by rotate, hi buddy, either um, rotate your foot or use your hands to help you move. So you're back into this uh, lunging position, kind of like a warrior one. Warrior one, you'd have your foot down but let's lift the foot off the floor. So we're in our crescent lunge. You can take your hands above the head and lean forward like this, or put them behind your back, clasp uh, them together, and then we're just gonna lean our chest forward for one, two, three, four, and five. And then open the arms back up into a warrior two. Catch your breath, cartwheel down to the floor. The left foot goes back. And then we're gonna go, we're in a downward facing dog. Hang out here for just a second. 
and then come into your plank or your knees to the floor and then we'll do a chaturanga press your feet the tops of your feet into the floor close that little gap <laughs> and then you can take your knees and then come on back into your child's pose and uh, come back up and that's going to be it for your little yoga session today so thank you so much for joining me and we'll catch up again next week take care bye